Okay, so we are now moving on to the warm up with the barbell. So for all your big lifts, I would say your squats, your deadlift, your bench press, your military, um, your hip thrust, this is something you are not going to want to hop right into your working set. Your working set is the set that you is the, are the sets that you count towards what you actually log into your trainer eyes. Okay, so for example, let's just say my working set for squats is one thirty five pounds, right? Which means a barbell plus forty five pounds on each side. I'm not gonna just load on forty five and just start working out. That's gonna be insane. I'm gonna hurt myself. It's don't do that. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. First off, obviously, you're going to go through the warm-up that I showed you in the body weight warm-up. Then you're going to take the bar, right? You're going to get underneath, and you're going to go for 10 reps, just the bar, right? Imagine the bar is on my back. You're going to do 10 reps, and you're going to rack it. Then you're going to take, say, 25 pounds each side. You're going to load it on, and you're going to do three reps. Okay, now here's the thing. You don't want to also overdo the warm-up because... You don't want to get to your working set fatigued. That's not a good idea. So it needs to be smart. So typically I would say a good rule of thumb is 10 reps with just the bar. And then it's going to be three reps and then singles till you reach your working set. Okay, so like we said, 10 reps the bar. Then I would load 25 each side. I would do three reps with that. I would take off those 25s. I would put on the 35s, do a single with that. And then maybe add like five more to each side and do a single there. And then strip all of that off, put on the 45s, and go for my first working set. Okay, now here's the thing. As you get more and more advanced, the, the way you jump up the increments is going to be different. This is going to be a trial and error kind of thing, something you figure out. It's part of the lifting journey. I, till this day change it up there isn't like a some kind of like secret sequence of how to do this correctly right different people need different types of warm-ups some people just like with recovery some people only need 90 seconds between sets and some people need three minutes right so um like i said as you get stronger the way you go about how you increment the weights is going to be different. So say say you get to a point where, for example, with hip thrusts, okay? Say you get to a point where you're hip thrusting 300 pounds, which is a pretty solid number, right? You're probably going to start off with 135 pounds to warm up. Hip thrust, by the way, is not a warm up where, it is not a lift where you use an empty bar. I would probably already start with some weight, okay? So say you warm up with 135, then you'll add two 25s to each side, so you'll go to 185. Then you'll probably add another 25 to each side, so you're at 235. And then maybe like another 25 to each side, you're at 285 at this point. Am I doing the math correctly? Mm -hmm. 235, yeah, you're at 285. And then you would go into your working set, right? So you're gonna see that different lifts require you to go about your warm-ups differently. Um, usually hip thrusts are a little more forgiving with how big of jumps you can make, whereas squats and deadlifts, probably a little smaller jumps. And then as far as upper body goes, military and bench, the increments are totally different. Like you're not gonna be going no 50 pounds at a time. It's, it's just totally different, right? So um, for example, military press. Okay, say my working set is 80 pounds. I'm probably gonna warm up with the bar, right? Which is gonna be 45 pounds so I'll probably do 10 reps with just the bar then maybe I'll add uh, five pounds to each side and do like three reps there then 10 pounds to each side and do a single right so that brings us to 65 then I would add another five pounds that brings us to 75 and then I would do a single and then finally I would strip everything off make sure there's 80 pounds on the bar right and then I would go for my working set now, another thing that I wanted to say, and this doesn't exactly have to do with warm up, it's how you progress, specifically with the upper body exercises, okay? The, the bench and the military. These are lifts that you do not want to be making jumps from week to week of even the smallest weight, which usually most gyms, 
the smallest weight plate they'll carry is a pound and a quarter. And some gyms don't even have that. Their smallest would be a two and a half. If you try to add two and a half to each side every week for your upper body exercises, you're most likely gonna fail. It's too much, it's too big of a jump. So I strongly recommend that you get cute little babies okay so these are one pound this is a half pound this is three quarters and this is a quarter now look how tiny this little guy is it's literally like doesn't weigh anything and you must be thinking what the hell like what does this even do but this is how I got strong with my lift so please trust me when I say this you want to use this plate okay so for example say I have three by eight for military press, right? And I went for 50 pounds. And the next week I still have three by eight. So how do I, how do I increase this? You're literally going to add a quarter pound to each side, which feels like nothing, but it's significant with these specific lifts. Same for the bench press. I need you to make these tiny little increments because that's what is gonna make you strong over time, all right? So you can get these on Amazon. I bet they probably cost like 30 bucks or something. Um, I'm gonna make a point to send you the link. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think what else as far as the warm up. I think that basically covers it. Um, I would say, I'm trying to think about the deadlift. It would, it would be very similar to how you would go about the squat, right? Like you would first warm up with, you know, just hold the bar and maybe even do RDL so you don't even need to touch the ground. Just get a good stretch in your hamstring. You're preparing your body. You're telling your body, oh, hey, like we're about to move some weight. So just good morning. Like here we are, right? So you're going to just hold the bar and just get a good stretch in your hamstring and you could place it on the ground, put 25s on each side. It really all depends on where you're holding in your lifting journey. 25 on each side may be a little too heavy for where you currently are at, right? Or if you're stronger than that, 25 may be a little too low. Like for me personally, I start with 45s on each side, right? So it really just depends. Don't try to compare other people's warm up numbers to yours. It's all very individual. So go by whatever your body needs. Okay, um, and do not skip this warm up. Okay, don't try to be a freaking hero. You end up hurting yourself, and then you're fucked. And we're in this lifting game for life. I'm hoping, right? This is not like a a phase you're going through. You want to be able to be lifting weights your entire life, and the way you ensure that happening in a safe manner is doing it smartly and doing your warm ups. So that is that.